whole name for me. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Say your name. <laughs> Kadish Lorik. KK, please tell me what you saw on Friday, December 21st, between Officer Clayton Sutton and Sammy Davis Jr. I came into the Kroger's parking lot and I pulled into the handicapped spot right on, on the left entrance door. That, pulled, is that down there by the patio where he used to sit? That's by the patio where he sat. And I pulled into the parking lot and I saw the police talking to him or whatever. So I, I didn't pay it no mind. And, um, and, um, I heard, you know, a little talking or whatever. So I said, oh, maybe they just, they finna tell him to go home. But I kind of kept my eye on in case they tried to take him to jail because I knew my mama knew him. So I would have, um, you know, went up there and offered to take him home instead of going to take him to jail or whatever. So I turned around. I didn't pay it no more attention. And um, I peeked back in the mirror again. I seen him with his hand up. <coughs> and I seen him put his hand in his pocket and, like, step backwards. And I heard boom, 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 three shots. And I went to crank the car to back out because I thought somebody was robbing Kroger or something. And I couldn't get out, so I got out the car. And that's when I seen Juma up going down. And the police backing away from him with a gun. And I jumped on the phone and called my mama and told her to get in touch with his family because I knew that my mama knew his family. Did Juma cry or anything? What happened? He didn't say. I didn't hear him say nothing. What did the police do? Did anybody from Kroger say anything? The manager at Kroger, a tall, skinny, white man, he came out and said, all I asked y'all to do was ask him to leave. You didn't have to escalate to this, and he was crying. You didn't have to escalate this. You didn't have to escalate this. Don't you have a taser? You could have tased him. And he turned around and walked back in. And then they, uh, did they call the ambulance right away or what? They called the ambulance right away. The ambulance came like five or ten minutes later. But Jumbo was handcuffed then? I, he wasn't handcuffed then. He wasn't handcuffed at that time. But, okay. And they put him in the ambulance. And um, I was standing at the back of the car at that time. And I seen the uh, ambulance stick the head out the door and just shake his head. So I figured, okay, he didn't make it. So, you know, I called my mom. You know, I'm just stressing to her, please get in touch with this man, people, or whatever. Because some people were saying he was homeless or whatever. And I told him he's not homeless and he got a family. And I said, you never know what loneliness will push you to. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to be up there asking for no change, no money, or nothing. That's, that's probably just something he chose to just do to get for attention. And that stuff. was just his little, that's, that's the way he found he did, his peace. I believe. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, sweetheart. You're welcome. If you need anything else, just let me know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.